I am the boutique business process management specialist, consultant extraordinaire. I am here to help your business run smarter and not harder. Said of the online prosperity show and today we're none other than Genova herself. Genova, how are you doing, my love? I'm great. How are you? Great stuff. Now, Genova is the business boutique queen. She offers um, boutique consulting services to businesses and enterprises and actually helps them improve their bottom line. Now, did I say that right there, Genova? Yes, you said that correctly. And that's what I do and I've been doing it for about 15 years now. Great stuff. Now, 15 years is quite a long time. Um, and a lot might have changed in the way uh, businesses are run. Tell us how you actually help companies improve their bottom line. A lot of times what I find when I enter companies is that they have old systems that have been in place pretty much since they started business. And a lot of times those things need to change to improve with the time. So they may have uh, accounts payable being done in the old fashioned way when there are new systems such as Great Plains or Resolve that allow you to get your accounts payable handled in two days where doing it the old fashioned way may have taken seven days. So it helps people to save money on late fees and extra work by employees when they could be doing more productive things. All right. Okay. Now, Genova, I would suppose that everyone that you're talking to always says that's how it's all been done. That's yeah. how we've always been doing it. How do you circumvert that sort of mindset when, when you're getting people to actually accept that, you know, the old systems are not working and then come in with the new stuff? Um, the way that I found it works best is for me to simply observe what people are doing. And then I, I sort of play into what I find that they're saying is the problem. And I, I go into it that way, as opposed to just coming in and saying, Hey, you need to change this, 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 and this, because, people don't receive that. So uh, for example, someone may say, you know, I've got to get the payroll done. It's going to be late if I don't get it done by two o'clock today. Well, the, the following week, I may say something like, well, payroll is due in two days. What if we try this to see if we can get it done early this time? And oftentimes what happens is once I do it once, people give me the right of way to do whatever it is I want to do to fix whatever systems they have in place that are faulty. Great stuff. Well, obviously, as we all know, Genova, humans are creatures of habit, all right? And once they're set in their ways, you know, it's, it's pretty hard to, um, you know, get off of. Is it an expensive endeavor for businesses to, uh, you know, get rid of what was old or does it actually cost them to not change? I agree. A lot of people think it's expensive. It actually costs people because what oftentimes I have seen happens is that people have employees doing multiple jobs insufficiently. So no one's being productive in whatever their job is and they're repeating things. They're, they're having to do it again and again, which is a time waster and it's a money waster. Whereas if I come in and I completely streamline their processes, what I like to see is once and done. So I want you to be able to do it one time and be done with it instead of having to go back and make unnecessary corrections and changes and unnecessary steps. Great stuff. All right. So in your line of work, you must encounter some sort of a resistance from, you know, the, the business people that have always done things like that. What's the funniest um, excuse or objection that you've heard somebody saying, oh, I'm not going to change the way things are because that's, that's how we've always dealt with it. You know what, the, the funniest thing, and it's not really, it's funny now. It wasn't funny when it happened, but I was fired from a job because, yes, yeah, <laughs> they sent out a massive email to the entire company about money savings and correcting the bottom line, and it had been an initiative that was going on for a year. This was prior to when I, I was working there, and they said, you know, we're accepting suggestions. So I responded with a, a lengthy email offering my help. And I just happened to mention that, hey, on the, just for credibility's sake, on the side, I have a business and this is what I do. So I waited a couple of days. I didn't get a response. My response was, you're fired. Wow. <laughs> so they yeah. resisted change so much that they had to eliminate the one person that was going to initiate that change. 
Exactly. And it, it was amazing. At first I was, I was stunned. I was like, well, what did I do? And so uh, there was some technicality to where um, some policy that I never knew existed said that I couldn't respond in the way that I did. So wow. I just, I took it as um, a good thing that let me know I'm on the right track <laughs> and that possibly I needed to kind of work harder. That's pretty much how I came to doing this business more focused because I said, well, if I'm a threat to the big wig, then I'm on the right track. All right. So obviously that bad misfortune now turned out to be now what is now, you know, these special boutique services that you're offering. So let's look at the positives on, on that aspect there. Now, um, obviously in your line of work, I know that your mission is to help businesses to actually end confusion and overwhelm. What sort of confusion or overwhelm are businesses facing? I thought everybody was having a good time, um, you know, doing what they love and, you know, posting and frolicking and no. living the laptop lifestyle. What people are doing is complaining. There's miscommunication between upper management and lower management. Employees are unhappy because they feel overworked because they're having to do five job descriptions. Uh, they're, they're not doing them to their full capability because they feel like they're not being paid to do five people's jobs. And so what happens is that's when you get companies full of employees that just don't care. So they don't care if the payroll is late. They don't care if the accounts payable is paid on time because they don't feel like their bosses are listening. They don't feel like they're being paid enough. And that all comes down to faulty systems being in place to where everyone can't operate in the culture that the company probably intended for them to work in. Right. Obviously, when when you mentioned, uh, you know, um, employees not caring anymore, that also leads to the neglect of the customer. That also leads to a lot of wasted time because people, um, you know, are not motivated to actually do things efficiently and stuff. Now, how obviously you did mention it, it costs businesses um, a lot of money there. Now, how do you then cater for when employees are just being stagnant? Are you going to go in and tell the business to fire everybody else or do you offer counter services so that um, the business has something going on uh, in, 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 in the interim? Um, I offer counter services. I offer personality sort of assessments that teach employees and employers who everybody's is according to their personality type and how to work with each other. So I may be an aggressive personality who can't necessarily communicate well with a more docile employee. So I offer a service where everyone gets to know what each other's personality type is and the best way to approach it so that if it comes down to it, there's a chart up and you can say, okay, I've got to go talk to Mary. Mary is uh, stubborn. <laughs> she doesn't like to listen to change. So rather than me just telling her she's wrong, I have to craft what I need to say to her before I get there. And it helps with the communication between employees on the same level as well as employees and upper level. Okay, great. All right, you're talking about personalities. What if I'm a business person and I just think if Sally is not working well today, if I check her Facebook status, maybe I'll see what happened on her weekend. Would that be effective? Is that a way of, you know, making things happen within a business? Not necessarily. Facebook has gotten people fired because a lot of people don't realize how open Facebook really is. It's not as secretive as a lot of people think. So some bosses feel like they need to do that. I wouldn't recommend it because theoretically what a person does outside of work is their business. However, Facebook is public. So then it becomes everybody's business what they're doing at work if they're talking about it so essentially what I like to do is I bring to the attention of upper management research from the past about work groups and how the environment that people work in affects their actual work quality and once I bring up all of the research and the numbers and I show them that if you have angry employees your clients are not going to be fulfilled they begin to see the light because then they think about high turnover rates. You know, if they look at their numbers, they find they can't keep anyone in specific positions. Maybe it's a personality issue. And so I work to help them to see the bigger picture and see how personality really does play into the culture of a workplace. 
Great stuff. Well, you just um, walked straight into my next um, question there. Like all of that then builds an environment or an ecosystem or some sort of a culture within the workspace. Now, would you go into a business and try and get them to, to change just the systems or would you also go in and help them change the culture of the business uh, overall? Believe it or not, I offer a couple of options. I do have the full experience where I come in, I observe everything for a preset amount of time. Then I go, I go away, I go into my nest, and I figure out how things are going to work more effectively. And then I come back and I train everyone to do it the way that it's going to be more, most beneficial. I also have options to where I just come in and I just give them information and they do it themselves. The difference is that when they do it themselves, oftentimes there's not the follow through. So they take the information and it's, it's kind of like a kid, you know, if, a, if you're, you have children and you tell your child, you know, you didn't clean the dishes correctly, let me show you how. They'll do it more the right way the next time. However, if you just say, go back and do that again, there's a chance you're going to have to tell them again, go back and do that again. So I like to go in and walk them through. That way I fix it because even for my business, I would rather go fix the business and be done than have to go fix them and then go back again in six months and then have to go back again in six months because I'm not in it for the money. I genuinely want people's businesses to run more smoothly. Great stuff. Well, we are now accustomed to, you know, a culture where you buy a toy. You were talking about kids early on, but the batteries are sold separately, right? So, you know, you, you might leave the toy, which is your services there. And then the batteries now is the follow through. That's how you then do it. Are there any other services that you then follow through that you would help to, you know, install first this culture and the systems that you would have put through um, for that particular business? Absolutely. A part of the full package would be me implementing it, training them, and then following up. So I follow up in three months, I follow up in six months, and I follow up in nine months. By that time, they've pretty much taken control of themselves and they see the value of it. And then if they want me to come back, it's usually for team building exercises and things that deal more specifically with creating happier employees. Because by that point, the systems are in place, everything's running efficiently, and then they're on to greater things. Great stuff. Now, Genova, this has been so informative. And obviously, maybe somebody who's watching this is already, you know, sitting at the edge of their chair trying to figure out how they can get a hold of you so that you can fix their business. Now, um, how can people actually get a hold of um, this uh, Genova boutique service? You can easily go to my website, which is www.genovabrooks.com. And there you'll find information about what I do and a little bit of the examples of what I offer and I can be contacted there. Great stuff. Now, obviously, um, you know, if you've been watching this show, you've actually gotten to understand that Genova's mission and her business is to actually help other businesses and confusion and a lot of overwhelm that is caused by having outdated systems that are no longer serving us. All right. Now, she also would help to create a productive environment where everybody works smarter and not harder, thereby creating a culture that is um, that makes your business profitable and enjoyable. Now, Genova, thank you so much. We cannot thank you enough, um, you know, for spending your time and really reiterating to us how you can actually help us, um, you know, start scale and grow a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. Is there any last words that you can give to that one person who is just sitting on the edge and is not quite sure, should they consult you or should they not? Um, in order for them to actually have, you know, that culture that you're talking about, newer systems and a business that actually turns over some sort of a profit and they enjoy working in it. Exactly. I would say if they're on the edge of their seats, that means that their processes are faulty and they absolutely need the help of a business process improvement specialist to come in and help them to get to that place that they dreamed of when they first started their business. It's possible. Any business can be turned around at any point in time. Great stuff. Now, Sally, Jack, and John that's been watching this, I want you to first of all subscribe to this channel because obviously you're going to be listening to professionals like Janova 
that would help you with your business so that you are not stressing and so that you can make so much more money with less struggle. Janova, I cannot thank you enough for tuning in with us today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we're going to go off and try and create a culture where we have businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So normally you would say, hi, my name is Genova. I'm like the boutique queen and I make your business go, you know? And <laughs> <laughs> the way you say it is going to incite people to want to watch this show. So if people don't watch this show, it's on you, my love. Uh-oh. Are we ready? Whenever you are. <laughs>